Welcome to another hilarious edition of Black Twitter, man. I ain't gonna waste your time. Let's get right into it. This video, you can only hear through the left ear. Make sure you got your headphones on or something. Let's see what's going on. Some of y'all might know me, some may not. I'm the black sheep, but I'm also Agnes' son. I wanted to thank New Hope for helping me and my family in a time of need. Uh, our home caught on fire a couple of months back, and New Hope came through. You guys really helped us out. And I want to say thank you to each and every one of you. I'm sorry, myself and my family, we greatly Amen. appreciate it. Amen. Amen. Uh, you know, a while back when I was younger, the church was a pillar of the community. When you needed help or when you needed something done, you went to the church. True. I'm saying it's good to see that that's still going on today. True. Amen. You need that. Yeah. Now, for my second order of business, I'm going to keep it good. You know me, I keep it funky. There's some things that's going on inside this church. My mother is messing with Mr. Nate. He's a married man. I thought I told you to keep it clean. It is clean. No, sir. To God the glory. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> hey, do y'all think that was really the song or the choir dude came in really reacting? Oh, Lord. <laughs> hey, his mama gonna fuck him up, bro. <laughs> bro. Next story. No, I'm with him right now. Big bro. I got like 50 holes downstairs. They ready for you. Bro, I don't care nothing about them bitches, bro. I'm gambling. There's some bad ones down there. I don't care about them hoes, bro. So whenever you just let me know who you want, and I got you, all right? I'm gonna bring him down there now. I already told Savage about you. He's ready to meet you and everything. But he, yeah, he like you. I can vouch. You just gotta do something for me. Come here right there. He was like a vouch. Yeah, he, I promise he gonna like you. I don't know where you learned that at, but I love it. Y'all don't understand. I bring the hoe all the time. I brought a hundred hoe. Wow. If y'all nigga don't finish, that's y'all fault. Yeah. Big bro get first choice. Y'all yeah. get the scragglers. Scragglers. Y'all not the big dog. It go him, me, then y'all. Oh, hell no. Nah, this is good. Hey, Goose. What's up, dude? My girl, Mish, right here. I'm gonna introduce you. What's up, bro? Yeah, I'll meet each other, y'all. Hey, I don't want nothing to do with you. <laughs> I'm from Texas. Born and raised? Yeah. Oh, excuse me. What's up, bro? <laughs> None, bro. Hey, Holla at me when you're done. You good? I'm good, bro. Do your thing, right. man. Are you hating now? So you gonna fuck my mans? You making me look bad. You don't have this attention to me. Why are you being weird? I brought you here. You moving like a hoe, bro. And I don't <laughs> fuck with you. <laughs> hey, what happened to the girl you don't want that bitch, she burnt out. She wanted me, she wanted Savage, then she was fucking with you. So? Then she started getting sloppy, drunk. Uh -huh. Nigga, she don't even drink. You acting real tender about this bitch, nigga. <laughs> no, I'm with it right now. <laughs> oh, that's just how niggas be, bruh. That's just how niggas be, bruh. Hell nah, man. Tender dick, man. Next story, dude. Okay, we got um, Joshua Neal. He said, dudes always acting pure and non-toxic just because they own plants. Let's see what's up with this one right here. How you doing, Nubian? Nubian. Nubian. How's your energy today? <laughs> My energy? Yeah, I, know. I just want to make sure that your mind, your heart, and your soul are in sync before you enter my home. I mean, I guess it's it's cool. Awesome. Well, what's with the water bottle? Oh, I'm just you know, feeding my children right now. Come on inside. Have you heard that new baby album? Uh, uh, no, I don't really listen to music. Like, I only listen to the tunes that feed my third eye. If you don't mind, can you <laughs> play a selection from my playlist, please? Thank you. What what's your uh what's your what's your rising? I really love your your energy. My rising? I I don't know my rising. Huh. Well, you're getting a rise out of me, that's for sure. <laughs> so, how many plants do you have? Please don't refer to my children as plants. We don't oh. do that here. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's okay. Um that's Daniel Kanisha. This is Venus, Kanisha. Jupiter. <laughs> Pluto didn't get enough sun last year. Wow, I feel like the energy in this room has shifted for the better, right? Do you mind if I blaze up real quick? Or? Oh, I don't smoke, but I don't mind. Oh, me either. So, you're not into, like, 
I don't know, celibacy and things like that, are you? Oh, no, no, I am. Oh, that's awesome. Me too. So how long do you plan on, I don't know, staying over? So what's with the blanket? Oh, that's usually where I meditate about four or five times a day with Theodore. Who's Theodore? Theodore is my, my eldest child. I'll, I'll have you meet him. Theodore, buddy! Theodore! Theodore! <laughs> Get me so What happened? You brought some bad energy in here is what happened! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, check in the comments say she brought that toxic celibate energy up in there, dog. <laughs> Get that toxic ass shit out of here, man. But that's just how niggas be, bro. Trying to fight the fuck to get the coochie. I understand how it is, my boy. <laughs> Women get tricked every day, dog. Speaking of. So this report came out that says Sean O'Malley says he can cheat on wife because I pay for everything. Um, but they said that uh, they are an open relationship. But this dude responded saying, here's the providers you ordered, ladies. This woman responded saying, sounds like someone is broke. Speaking out of turn, true providers don't just provide money. They provide fidelity as well. If you had a father, you know that. But buddy responds, bitch, shut up. LMAO, y'all don't deal with rich men. A 5'9 fat nigga been fighting with his 12 baby mamas on TikTok this whole week and you want to talk to me like y'all marrying rich men left and right. Stop talking to me. <laughs> I am broken bit of though. She right about that. So homie, if you don't know, he talk about the the um the dude that's been coined the Random Man in Atlanta. We covered it in the video. I'll link it up up, up above. But people are reacting to the Random Man in Atlanta. Um, it's a lot of mixed reactions, but most people, when they seen the whole story, they're not feeling too sorry for the Morgan Bailey girl. So this is when um, Twitter found out who the guy was. First, it was just a random man. Then he showed himself. So this person says, a random man from Atlanta is, is as bad as you imagine. He's jealous. She went viral. He talks like he got pickles under his tongue. Like, damn. Like the SpongeBob nigga? So this is the guy who put on such an Academy Award winning performance to trick her into letting him impregnate her. Yeah, that's him. That's him. Homie said this nigga had a decent little starting five. <laughs> this nigga went six for a six. I need to hear his side. Nah, we need a podcast for him. I've had enough. These are his baby mamas, bro. Like, not one ugly one, bro. Hell nah, but that's everybody's reaction. But next story, though. So this one put only girls know what this mean. Nah, ain't only girls know what this mean. God damn. I, if you guys don't know, this is basically her period tracker, her, her cycle tracker. And... All the hearts are the days that she was fucking. And she did a lot of fucking. God damn. <laughs> she said, this is not mine. Sure it's not. Sure it's not. Chick said, you bragging or something? <laughs> you had a great September last year. <laughs> Homie said, yeah, all right, let me check my whole phone and them hearts don't add up. <laughs> oh, I ain't never think about that, my boy. I ain't never think about that. <laughs> That's another app to check, man. Hell nah. Next story. All right, so have y'all ever been this friend before right here? And what would you do with you in this situation, dog? <laughs> that was great, but I'm ready to go home. Oh. You can't have reservations at Nobu. Yes, and I got up for section 1145. And then after that, we're going to after hours. Ooh, yes, girl, because I'm ready to turn up. Okay. Okay. Oh. Then around 6 a.m., we're going to get some mamas. Ooh, girl, I love they tacos. I tacos. Oh. 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 Right? Yes, it's going to be a good time. Oh, Come I got to touch you tomorrow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I got the shoes. Come on, girls. Come on. Hell nah, bro. Somebody said, hurry, start your cycle. Start it now. <laughs> hey, that's one of the main reasons girls get about a the shit. And they say they stomach hurting. Stomach be hurting too damn much. But as a fella, bro, I done definitely been in situations like that, bro. You know, when I go out, I like to sip a little. So sometimes I don't like to drive. But when you don't like to drive, you are <laughs> vulnerable to whatever your homeboy want to do, man. My homie. One of my homies. My good homie. That's my boy. This nigga, ew. He used to go from spot to spot to spot. Oh my God, I'm like, bro, <laughs> I used to be miserable, man, but still was good times. I'm still glad I did hang out when I hung out. Next story. All right, so Summer Walker's getting backlash, man. She always has issues with her shows and her fans, so check out this real quick. Thank you so much, Houston, for vibing with me. Appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Hope y'all had a fun tonight. I did. What? What? Good night. What? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Are you joking? 
Now y'all know how I feel. So they say it's a James Harden charity event. Now y'all ladies know how we be feeling, man. Um, You know, <laughs> you come see your girl for a quick little minute, but you busy, you got shit to do. You pop up to see her, but you still got to go handle your business. She knew the plans, but when you leave and she like, wait, you just going to leave me? Yeah, I, I got to go handle my business. This wasn't no full-time stay. I got to go get back to the bag. But it's always best to have a clingy woman that still understand that you got to handle your business. If your woman ain't clingy, boy, I don't know what to tell you. It's a, it's a, it's a good amount of clinginess that you got to have with your woman. But they saying she shouldn't have explained herself just in her set smoothly and get the fuck. Sucks for y'all because I had a um, time at something in the water. She did so good. Why do y'all keep going to her concerts? At this point, she's just doing snippets. <laughs> she said, uh-uh, I ain't get paid enough for all that. When we going to realize Summer is the problem? I still love her. Bro, I'm so glad I caught a concert before she blew up because this shit here is ridiculous. So this fan explains what happened. This was just a funny Summer Walker moment. It wasn't her concert. It was a charity event put together by James Harden that included the six artists you see in the background. I have a TikTok on it from yesterday. And I'm going to be uploading more clips of the individual artists. But um, everybody else did like three plus songs. So we just thought we was going to get more. It was a good deal. The tickets were $75 plus tax. But she did great. So I'll definitely pay to go see her. All right. So they say it's not that big of a deal but once you got a perception out there that you don't give good shows or you do half-ass shows then people are going to be running with that narrative no matter what but uh next story though okay so chloe barely tells an embarrassing story there was a split right from my butt crack all the way to my coochie the old man saw my stuff my exposed goods i went to the drake concert maybe uh four or five days ago and i put on this like really cute it kind of looked like a mugler like bodysuit kind of thing you know what i mean Mm -hmm. and i'm in the car we pulling up and i dressed myself that night i did my hair and makeup like it was just supposed to be a cute little simple outing and we, we get out the car and her assistant she calls her and she goes chloe tell chloe to cover her butt tell chloe to cover her butt so i'm thinking cover my butt what do you mean cover my butt it's covered it's a pantsuit so then as i'm walking past the cars as she says that and i Turn around, I see this old man looking at me like, like that. So, there was a split right from my butt crack all the way to my coochie. Wow. And I didn't even feel any air or wind. And that's shocking because I laser. I felt nothing. I felt no breeze. And the old man saw my stuff, my exposed goods. So, I was about to walk up in the concert with exposed goods. And... <laughs> But the thing is, it was like a, an illusion bodysuit where if you wore panties, you would see that the panty line. So I didn't have panties on. I didn't have a thong on. You just saw exposed crack and Hell no, nah, but y'all love wearing this type of stuff, man. Good girls go bad, you feel me? Like, I'm so damn conflicted when it comes to this type of stuff because, shoot, y'all gonna show it, I'm gonna be looking. But at the same time, some of these women are influential, and I have nieces. I got goddamn children I want to have, and they may be young young girls, and them. not. It's just like, ah, I don't know, man. It's good to look at, but it's just too much. It's too much. It's too much. All right, this person right says, OMG, that means your cat is beat up so bad you don't have any feelings. <laughs> this woman laughs at him but god damn i don't know man but good girl go bad but was she ever a good girl bro was she ever a good girl i don't know i don't know but speaking of good girls go bad this nurse right here put i give heart attacks let's see what she talking about with her little heart attack she be giving so she posted this on her tiktok she's walking she's walking she's walking okay she she gives heart attacks heart attacks Homie says, y'all remember during C-19 when people were literally on their deathbed and all those nurses were making TikTok content in the hospitals? <laughs> Crazy times. Homie said, me and the patient were fighting for my life while my nurse shows off her new BBL on Snap. <laughs> they say she be at work like this. Hold on, let's see. Juski always does some stupid shit. He got to skip everything, man. <laughs> Sheila, how we doing? Got a patient in room four that needs a three, four, five, seven. You know, I've been talking about the... Are you, are you paying attention? Yeah. Oh, we got a patient on 3457. We need the blood draw. <laughs> Saving lives. <laughs> Can I get your number before I leave out? The number on your card is work. If you're not buying me no food, no. I'm not. Uh, Miss Stacy, if, if she's going to go ahead and get the call. Oh, my God. Hello? Uh, yeah, you, I was just going to let you know. You might as well go ahead and turn around. Um, you're 20 minutes late, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep the deposit. No, no, bitch, I'm already on the way. I need my money back. 
like I said, clients need me. This man got to skip everything, dog. Hey, y'all be seeing people be with a fake pair of toes. Like, stop all that fake pair of toes shit. You look, look retarded. Next story. All right, so I fear she ate the girls up here. Let's read this real quick. Um, If they wanted to, they would. It's really that simple. That's been a real popular saying on social media. If they wanted to, they would. It's really that simple. So that's some relationship advice that women are giving each other. So this person, this woman right here says, a motherfucker with the laundry list of shit they, that they, um, they say they've wanted to do for the longest. If you wanted to go to the gym, you would, right? If you wanted to stop spending money on food and cook more, you would, right? Is that simple, Anna? Why is it y'all only have this dumbass mindset when it comes to a nigga and not in your own life? Ooh. Ooh. I like that. Next story. It says, when he pours me a drink, you think he's going to get lucky, but I'm really going to start freestyling like my name, Connor. Okay, let's see what she got. Mom, leave me alone. I want to be famous. Okay. I want to be famous. Okay. Me too. I am gonna be a rock star. Me too. Let me be a rock star tonight. Bet. Let's do it. Bet. Let's do it. I'm not white, I'm Native American. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she a cool chick, man. It's, hey, it's so funny chicks out here. I'm Native American. <laughs> Next story. All right, so Kevin Hart done messed around and tore his damn hamstring, bro. Check this out right here, bro. I don't know what he was thinking, bro. Yep. Well, you know it's going to be bad. Anytime somebody starts off by saying, well... Is bad. Ladies and gentlemen, the age 40 is real. To all my men, women out there that are 40 years old and above, uh, it's not a game. Respect that age. Respect that age. Or that age will, will make you respect it. I was just forced to respect it. Sit my ass down. This is 44. I tell you what you just lost, son. You just lost every opportunity of me going to racing you anytime soon. It's over. Kenneth, it's over. Sit down. What are we competing for at this age? Why are we like what are, what am I doing? Why did I even race? Stupidest shit ever. Now I can't walk because I'm somewhere trying to get the title. Of the fastest nigga at the barbecue. What was I thinking, son? God. Got to be the stupidest man alive. It is what it is, man. This is life. Uh, you know, I'm out. I got about six to eight. I blew my shit. Welp. Boy, you know what? <laughs> Y'all, let me tell you something. I'm getting all types of calls. I'm getting calls from from friends, athletes. Everybody, everybody starts off the same. Man, what the what the fuck? That's what they say. What the fuck were you thinking, Cam? How you do that? Man, you supposed to be in shape, bitch. I am in shape. This ain't got nothing to do with being in shape. When's the last time that you have run an all-out sprint? I'm talking about a hard effort run, giving it all you got. Lip biting. I'm talking that lip biting run. Mm -hmm. Hands like this, where you fucking dip, dip, and you making noises while you run. When's the last time you have given yourself a thousand percent effort sprint? People don't do this shit. Not at the age forty and up. That's why my stupid ass in this situation. Look at this shit. Look at this. You know how long it take me to get the fuck out the car? It's I'm a mess. I'm a fucking mess, man. God damn. This shit got me, guys. I'm, I'm, it's bad. It's fucking bad. My dick look like a thumb and I'm, everything's swollen. Balls done got big as hell. That shit went here. Balls look like my fists. 
can't move my goddamn legs. All from on your mark, get set, go. Never again. Never again. And to every friend that has called me and that has laughed at me, ooh, boy, after this six to eight week, when I get back to functioning, I'm going to light your asses up. You know who the fuck you are. You know who the fuck you are. Mark is set, go. It sat me down, didn't it? Should have been on your mark, is set. No. 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 That's what the fuck I should have did. That's what I'm going to do next time. Uh, how did this happen to you? you supposed to be in shape. Fuck y'all. Fuck every one of y'all. What I am is in pain. We'll be back. This road to recovery is going to be real. I'll document it. Goodbye. So here go the actual race. Right there, right there, <laughs> right there, bro. I done been in that same position, bro. Pop, you feel a pop in your leg, too. Too damn old, bro. You better sit your behind. <laughs> too damn old, bro. Hell no. Nah. Let me know y'all done did that before. I definitely did it before when I had to show my lady that like, I ain't no slouch. You feel me? I got, I had a little, I got a little gut, but I still blaze your ass. <laughs> Next story, though. All right, so the pink sauce lady, man. Y'all remember the um the viral pink sauce situation, man? Um, first you had FDA issues, people saying, man, there's something wrong with the goddamn pink sauce when she was selling this actual viral sauce from TikTok. People getting sick and stuff like that. They said she fixed the the um the ingredients or whatever the formula to it, and then she had it on shelves. So I thought she was gonna still do good. People thought she was still gonna have a good life, but they're saying that now she launches a GoFundMe after allegedly going broke. Says the company she sold product to lied about their agreement and hasn't been paying royalties so the chef who went viral on tiktok last year for a polarizing pink sauce claimed she's been financially sabotaged veronica shaw aka chef pa started a gofundme account last week alleges alleging she's experiencing financial hardships despite striking a major deal to take her product nationwide in the bio of the fundraiser, which she has a goal of 100,000, Shaw wrote, Hi, my name is Veronica Shaw. I am the founder of the Pink Sauce LLC, one of the most viral sauce sensations of 2022. As a young entrepreneur with big dreams, I followed my intuition and went forth toward my dreams to create something new. I made a few stakes on the way, which led me to trust a company that is trying to take everything away from me. Damn. So she says she continued. They lied to me. They are not paying me and are not being transparent about records. I've tried on multiple occasions to try and come to one accord with them, but they refused to reimburse me for marketing expenses that I spent my own funds towards. I have been silenced and financially sabotaged. The internet influencer went on to state that she can't even afford to feed her children and is also facing eviction with her mother allegedly only being able to give $20 here and there from, from her disability check. Shaw pleaded for help from anyone willing to donate in the eight days since um, the account was created. Damn, boy. The entrepreneur has raised $921 towards her goal, with the largest gift being $100. A few who gave to the cost, however, did it um, do so without snarky commentary. <laughs> One donor referred to Shaw's current situation as karma. Damn. The comment seemingly relates to the controversy that surrounded the product when it, first, it was first released. Before signing a deal with the food retailer Dave's Gourmet, Shaw came under fire due to her unwillingness to share the sauce's ingredients, as well as her approach to gaining FDA approval. The chef caught even more flat after suggesting that she didn't need the government stamp due to the product not being medical. Oh, yeah, that was so stupid. <laughs> that was so dumb. Damn, boy. Hey, dog. That happens to a lot of people in business. You got to be careful out here, dog. You got to be careful out here, man. But she did have a nasty attitude in a lot of situations, especially on a TV show at one point in time. <laughs> the situation was crazy, man. Next story. All right, so Blueface's brother says the only thing that his mother taught him was to eat WAP. So he said, talk about letting a, my girl beat you. You let two different husbands out, put their hands on. Bro, this is horrible writing. Oh, my God. Two different husbands put their hands on because of you went to prison because you think being a mom is done by the world. You never taught me ish except how to eat WAP. Um, okay. One time, which was weird at F. I, man, this is, I can't even read this. I learned everything I never... Oh, what the hell, bro? I learned everything I never knew on my own. I forgot you exist. Most of my life, I had to catch the bus home from games. Sit outside, catch a ride home with the janitor, getting good grades. And I'm two different sports teams. All two can say 
is you let me drive a car when I got my license. This nigga is, oh my gosh. You had three of them and it was only so you didn't have to take nobody to school. Bro, bro. All right. All right, that was so hard to read, bro. Um, But yeah, uh, okay. But yeah, that's nasty. The mother's disgusting. What the hell, bro? They said she ain't teach you how to read or write. That shit just gave me a headache. <laughs> Man. But that sound weird. That sounds super weird. Next door. All right, so how many of us got caught like this, dog? You Did you just curse? Did you just curse? It shall sound like you said. I said sheets. Oh. Because mm. that went all the way over there. Mm -hmm. You scared me. <laughs> Damn right she did, my brother. But he thought real, real quick, man. But y'all know kids, they be going off when they be by themselves. I be wondering what these new generation of kids be saying. But a ring camera caught this dude going in on his dad, man. Little man was pissed off. Check this out real quick. Man, why my fucking day? You do dumb shit. Man, I'm talking to this dumbass house. That nigga lazy. He better clean the game by his cell. I was playing the game and shit. Damn, I can't wait till I'm old to fucking knock his ass out. She's ugly ass. Damn. Fat ugly ass. Still be losing weight. I was eating and playing the game. She'll throw egg on his fucking head. He fat ass. How I fucking clean up. I do all that cleaning all the time. Damn. Dumbass fucking house. Goddamn. Fuck. God damn, boy. They say pop standing inside listening to an event like. Oh. I ain't gonna lie, I'm getting cooked. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I'm getting cooked. Nah, pop's probably getting that belt ready. So, what would y'all do if y'all catch a kid on, a, on by himself, thinking he's speaking to himself by himself, going off like that? Do you still whoop his ass? Like, what y'all do? Or you still put him on punishment since you're trying not to abuse children nowadays, I guess? Or you can just do what this dude did to his son, cook him back. I'm finna spit these hot. Hot bars. Yeah, my breath hot. What's up with you? Yeah. Listen. Your name Jaira. Bruh, ain't you like a baby? You talking about you going to pull up in a Cooper or Mercedes? Man, you can say what you want to. I promise that won't bug me. Man, you think you the doodle? Nah, I think you a huggy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> pull up on me and my crew? Yeah, homie, you can try it. We'll hit you with that pop, pop. And leave you on a strictly liquid diet. Ain't you already on that? <laughs> <laughs> Mommy's milk type. <laughs> what you trying to do? Boy, you better really get tight. Because I'm finna hit you with that left in that quick right. You do in your clothes again, I'm gonna hit you with that lick right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, what you gonna say about it, huh? What you gonna do about that, hmm? <laughs> huh? If you be shining like a star, I won't lie, you is bright. Yeah, you all up in the air. Yeah, you fly as a kite. Man, you really got that string. Hit it with all your might. But guess what? I be kissing your mom at night. <laughs> They say little dude gotta step his bars up. He was too busy laughing when he should have fired back. <laughs> yeah, you gotta. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? You gotta clap back at your old boy. The baby after realizing he gotta do a verse with his own damn daddy. <laughs> Hell no, bro. That story. All right, so y'all ain't peep by now. We in the wholesome section of the damn episode. This colorblind guy gets some color correcting glasses and sees certain colors for the first time, like red and green. New glasses. New colorblind glasses, you know what I'm saying? And he finna see that red ruby right there. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. He finna cry. He finna cry. He finna cry in the club. Oh. Bro, this is, bro, there's no way y'all see that shit. Go on, go and take a look at Big Red over there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is what y'all... <laughs> Bro, what? <laughs> Bro, what? <laughs> Bro, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god.
happiness man shout out to that boy so that's gonna wrap up the video right there man straight positivity another black twitter we out